Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce for product shipping. This shipping module allows the admin to add the shipping price for each product of the shop. Now admin can put different shipping price for each product of the store. So now let's move through the configuration part of this plugin. After successful installation of this plugin, admin can configure this plugin under WooCommerce and settings. Under settings, there are various tabs available. So, admin can configure this plugin under shipping tab. Under shipping, uh, there is a tab available per product shipping. Under per product shipping, admin can configure this plugin. There are two options available. First is enable and disable. So uh, from here admin can enable or disable this shipping plugin for the WooCommerce products. If this option is checked then this shipping plugin will be uh, enabled or else it, it will be disabled. So uh, this is the second option uh, which is the title of the shipping. Here admin can uh, enter the shipping title which will be reflected over the uh, checkout page and invoice and emails also. So right now it is per product shipping and admin can configure this as per his requirement. So after these configurations admin needs to save all the changes. To save all the changes admin needs to press save changes button and now all the settings will be saved. After configuration admin needs to put shipping price for every product. It can be done under products. So here admin can uh, edit an already uh, available product or uh, he can create a new product. So right now we choose a already created product which is aluminium chair and we add it to put uh, shipping price. So uh, over there admin can put shipping price under shipping. So here uh, this is the option available where admin can enable per product shipping for this particular product. So here admin define the shipping price for this product. After that admin needs to uh, provide country code, straight code and pin code if he want to enable all three checks for this particular product. If you want to add uh, a common shipping price for whole country then you just need to provide a country code and the shipping price will be uh, equal for all the uh, places of that specific country. So you can uh, add any other country uh, by just pressing insert now and a new uh, option will be available where you can put a country code, straight code or the pin code. So uh, it can be done uh, while creating a new product also. Uh, for example, uh, to create a new product, we just press add product and uh, a new template will be available where admin can add a new product. So under a new product, admin can uh, enable this shipping uh, per product plugin and put here he uh, needs to put the shipping price. After that, he just press insert row and provide country code for this particular product and save changes over there as right now this product is not published so if a product is published so admin needs to just update the product uh, that's all for uh, for the configuration of this plugin after, uh, so we need to move to the front end to to see all the changes which are happened with the help of this plugin here it is the front end. Uh, after login, uh, a customer uh, he can find a my account over there. So to purchase a product, he needs to move through the shop. And over there, all the products of the shop are available. So uh, a customer just needs to select a product to purchase for. So uh, let's say we choose this aluminium chair and earlier we uh, edited this product uh, in backend and put a price of $20 uh, 
as a shaping so uh, we just need to um, select this product uh, we move to add to cart and now product is added to the cart so we just move through the checkout on checkout page you can find that per product shipping is over there and this is the shipping price $20 for this particular product so uh, to successful checkout uh, a customer needs to provide all the details like first name last name email address phone number country address etc after that he just need to press uh, place order button to successfully place the order so the, uh, now the order will be placed and this is the order number payment method is cash on delivery and this is the shipping method which is configured over there and right now it is order uh, as we configured on the product page so that's all for this video tutorial if you have any query or suggestion regarding the plugin uh, you can mail us at support at webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.